Well, it looks like uh, Mitch McConnell will be reelected. Uh, that's my opinion. That's a lot of our opinions uh, on the left. Uh, Charles Booker uh, appears to have lost the race for the Democrats' bid to run against Mitch McConnell in November. Amy McGrath appears to have won. Um, and if she did win, it's by, like, a handful of votes. I mean, in relative terms, this is like a couple thousand, but they're, they're like neck and neck. And you know what? There better be a recount. And th there's no shame in asking for a recount when it's this close. A couple thousand? That, that ain't nothing. When there's like 230 plus thousand votes apiece, it's very close. And you have a multitude of mail-in ballots um, to, 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 to count and recount because Kentucky opened up uh, mail-in voting, but they also closed down 95% of their precincts and in, in large black districts that are Democrat strongholds, there was one voting center for 600,000 residents. Mind-blowing. Um, and, and this is a form of voter suppression. This is a form of white supremacy. Okay, this is still voter suppression. It's Kentucky. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, even if Booker lost, this is huge for the progressive left in Kentucky, okay? I mean, the next race is guaranteed. Let's say McGrath gets it and McGrath loses to McConnell, which I believe will happen. You know, the progressive left is setting themselves up for the next election, big time. And if Amy McGrath really does lose, which we all think she's going to lose, this is even better. Uh, that it will show that the progressive left is the winning ticket, that centrists are not the winning ticket, okay? Um, you know, whatever. We'll see how it happens. But there's got to be a recount. There has to be a recount. Uh, just, just to get uh, an official uh, tally. And, like, when you're down to a couple thousand votes and there's over half a million votes cast... That isn't much at all. That has to be a mandatory recount. And, and there is a percentage. I forget what the percentage is. But some races, when it reaches a certain percentage of vote disparity, there has to be a mandatory recount. So I don't know if Booker is filing a recount or there is a mandatory recount or if it's within the guidelines or not of the mandatory recount. So this is a fluid situation. But the AP has called it for Amy McGrath. And other uh, news sources have called it for Amy McGrath. And um, let's hope there's a recount coming up because I don't think McGrath can beat McConnell. She's a, she's literally a pro-Trump Democrat, if you could believe it. You know, centrists don't, and it's fine because this is what centrists do. Centrists play to the GOP. They don't play to the progressive left. They don't play to uh, the needs of Americans uh, in the working class. They play to the GOP. That's why the Democrats just spent $41 million uh, on Amy McGrath's campaign, because they play to the GOP, okay? They don't play to the working class. But anyways, let's keep following this. And let's hope there's a recount. Let's hope Booker wins it. Jesus.